Alright, All right, shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright, we want to give double honors to the positive elders of uh, Great Millstone, who rule them. Alright, um, to the brothers from um, Salaki. Uh, peace, blessing, and safety, and grace to the uh, to all the Akiyam around the world, preaching his word and choosing sincerity. Alright, uh, peace, blessing, and safety also to the one third remnant, which consists of men, women, and children. Um, it's the brothers from um, South Carolina, Men of Valor. All right, when we just come in in the spirit, uh, yeah, how about you outside? Gonna get into a little lesson. Basically, a uh, response to uh, the Akiyam out there um, in Chicago. All right, they were basically uh, going in about being vets, man. All right, and then, you know, us brothers, you know, it's a, a damn Thursday night. All right, brothers just getting off of work and stuff. Okay, brothers on break from work. All right, and, and we just, you know, hey, that's the spirit of men of your how about you, man, sorry, and then we were, we're vets, man. All right, mm -hmm. now, don't get simple. All right, of course, we have a good time. We're going to laugh with the Akim, joke with the Akim. Might have a brother's got kids, might have a moment with your kid. All right, make you smile. Moment with your woman, you got a woman, make you smile. But the, the overall mood that you're in is a, a vexation, man. Yeah. All right, brothers are tired of uh, uh, getting up, going to work for Esau, man. You know, all right? Uh, like the brothers uh, in the video saying, tired of people not worshiping you. How about you outside, man? First and foremost. Mm -hmm. So, man, through the spirits, we're going to grab a couple precepts. Uh, your how about is edifying, so we just gonna jump straight into it. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter one, verse eighteen. For in much wisdom is much grief. Man, and much he, a lot, brother. I need to cut you off. Hey, <laughs> this some of the brothers is start, man. In much wisdom is much grief, man. All right, the more you know in this thing, it's, it's gonna uh, and you're gonna be more sorrowful, man. You're gonna be sorrowful for uh, your sins. The more you find out how wicked you were. Mm -hmm. All right, and you're gonna be sorry for about uh, what your ancestors been through, uh, just going through life. Period, man. It's a lot. I'm gonna start over. Ecclesiastes one and eighteen. For in much sorrow is much grief, and he that increases wisdom, so much wisdom. So. Yeah, so I... for in much wisdom is much grief, uh -huh. and he that increases uh, knowledge increases sorrow. He that increases knowledge <laughs> increases sorrow, man. The more you know, and the more sorrowful you get. Mm -hmm. That's like uh, where it says uh, Ecclesiastes about uh, the honey and stuff. Uh, you know what that's that, uh, Shamar? Uh, 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 yeah, about, uh, about the milk and the honey, man. When you first get it, yeah. uh, uh, how it's bitter and sweet. I'm mm -hmm. about to get it, man, so I'm chop it up. But basically, when you first come in, it's sweet. You know, you learn your Israelite, mm -hmm. the prince of the power. All right, if you're a, a woman that knows your prince, your daughter of Zion, mm -hmm. okay? Then uh, uh, it, it start getting bitter, man. Yeah. All right. You learn uh, everything you knew was a lie. You know. Uh, you learn uh, uh, just the wickedness of Esau, the wickedness of the world. Like I said, how wicked you were, and, and it just gets more vexing, man. You know. Um. You can jump to the next one. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, this the book. Uh, you got something to add, Smart? Yeah. Come. Yeah, man, because, hey, brothers vexed out here, man. You can't mm -hmm. you can't live your life, man. Come on. All right? You can't. Uh, we don't own anything, man. You yeah. know, your kids, your woman, mm -hmm. your house, your car. That's vexed. That's subject to payments. Uh, right, right, right. That one, too. All right, so, for sure. Okay. And while he's, look, um, it's lucky, bro. And while he's looking it up, I just I pulled the definition of, of the word vex because uh, the, the meaning of, of words is important, you know? Um. And this is out of the blue letter. The word for vex is to irritate or to make angry by little provocations. And uh, every little thing from the time we wake up in the morning to the time we lay our heads on the pillow mm -hmm. is a provocation. You know, we're yeah. being provoked by whether it's your slave master, whether it's your woman, whether it's your child, whether it's um, uh, just society in general provoking you to wrath, man, because mm -hmm. everything's so uh, fucking out of order here. You know, so that's a heavy definition. It's to irritate or make angry by little provocations. Mm -hmm. And also the second definition is to plague or to torment, to harass and to afflict. Mm -hmm. So, and are we not, we're afflicted, man, because uh, 
we we got uh, uh, basically um, in this we're in these everlasting chains of darkness right now. So knowing these mysteries and these scriptures, but having to live out here in Babylon the Great uh, is, is 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 a, it's a torment, man, and and it's an and it's an, a, an affliction. Mm -hmm. um, and then the third definition, and then we'll get back to it, but uh, is to disturb or disquiet or agitate. Mm -hmm. And so we all are walking around agitated all the time, mm -hmm. you know. But like the brother said, it's a balance. But yeah, for the most part, your spirit. If you're walking around uh, uh, in a giddy spirit or, or um, one of them happy-go-lucky spirits, you way off, man. Right. Nothing in this society should make you happy right now. What should make you happy is that how about your man child is about to fucking destroy this place. Right. Yeah, I, got, I, got yes. a, I got a Chris Fisher uh, just hearkening on uh, what you were saying, man. This is Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and 7. Surely oppression making a wise man mad and a gift destroy up the heart. Huh. Uh, a person make a wise man mad, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, you might want well to start from the top, huh? And please have to say, that's the spirit. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, we're going to go to that one next, man. Because, like the brother said, uh, uh, the brother read one of the definitions and said, agitated? Mm -hmm. Hey, agitated. brother, you get aggravated, man. Mm -hmm. You get aggravated, man. Brothers can attest to that, man. Mm -hmm. Two thirds. Hey, your family aggravated shit at you. You, you, mm -hmm. People at your job aggravated shit at you. All right, everything shit you might see, some might see two faggots kissing on a commercial on yeah. TV. Gonna get instantly agitated, man. Matter of fact, you waking up instantly, you agitated. God, who's wake up? Man. Yeah. So what you, what you think about so much wake up? Fuck, I gotta go. Yep. Yep. That's what you think about, man. Yeah. You think about all the um bills you forgot to pay. You're right. Right. Like you said, I'd be in subject to payments, having uh. We're not supposed to be uh, worried about all that bullshit, man. You know? We're, sp well, if, if we're the kings of this universe. Then we got to worry about being subservient to a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. And then every other person around, man. Because we let's face it, man. Hey, the Lord's only dealing with a, 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 my, a minute a portion of this earth population, man. So you don't have kindred spirit around you all the time, man. You don't have a brother, a like-minded brother sitting next to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To take that edge off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, as soon as you fucking, as soon as we open our eyes, we realize we're in fucking hell again, man. Okay. And many of us, are, 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 you know, we ain't sleeping a whole lot, you know. We might be up 18, 19, 20 hours a day sometimes. Yeah. Right? This is Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the death in the uh, slack and the day of death than the day of one's birth. We'll be all night talking about that. Yeah. Right. People talking about uh, when people die, it's such sad. They, they're going here. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. So it's better to go to the house of mourning than. House of Beasting, man. All right, it's better to be vexed and sad, man. Right now, cause hey, that's what's coming, man. If you vexed and sad already, when Jacob's trouble here, it's gonna be nothing, man. Con, bro. Cause you've been fucking sad, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. You've been worried, mm -hmm. depressed. So Jacob's trouble, like I've been having. Mm -hmm. It's better going to the house more than the house of Beasting. Yeah, just... For that is the end of all men, yep. and the living will lay it to his heart. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, verse 3, sorrow is better than laughter, mm -hmm. for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Yeah. Yeah. Sorrow is better than laughter, man. Like we say, man, of course you're going to laugh and joke with the brothers, man. Have a good time here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, but hey, uh, uh, sorrow is better than laughter, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, nobody like a nigga that's laughing and joking all the time, man. Mm -hmm. Even in the world, man. Mm -hmm. Niggas laughing and joking all the time, you can't trust him with your life. Shit no. gets serious, he ain't gonna know what to do because he always joking and shit. Yeah, and we in the last days. About to yeah. Nah, I'm just agreeing with everything your brothers are saying, man, because uh, that's, that's that's just a, a, a vile spirit if you're constantly laughing, man. You look like a fucking jackass, man. You laughing all the damn time. Say something about, uh, mm -hmm. scripture say, uh, I forgot where it's at. Uh, something about a man scarcely smile, man. Come on. Mm -hmm. you know? Fine, and uh, you know, 
you think about the one you serve, you say if Yahweh Shah, you're following Yahweh Shah. All right, Yahweh Shah, the scripture says Yahweh Shah was an austere man. Yahweh Shah wasn't, uh, uh, wasn't uh, at, at the fucking, wasn't part of the kings of comedy. You know? He wasn't at the improv. He, he was he was vexed, man. Think about uh, the son of the Most High Power. Him being himself out and becoming a man. Having, having to deal with the two thirds and then uh, uh, the Herodian dynasty surrounding him, man. He was austere. Uh, this is verse four. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. And we know that word heart is uh, live, man. Live meaning your uh, your mind, man. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, read the um book before that one you just read. Okay. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Sorrow is better than laughter. That's a lot. Four. That's a lot. Four. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. See, that's where the heart of the wise is at. Mm -hmm. The mind of the wise, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Brothers constantly warning, man. Because we're ready to get the hell out of America, man. Uh -huh. Brothers ready to get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. But the heart of fools is in the house, the house of mirth. It's like the house of fools. Uh, the heart of fools. What would say, right? Uh, the heart of fools? Yeah, it's like I'm gonna read it again. Okay. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, mm -hmm. but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. And the, the mind of fools is in the mind of, uh, is in the house of mirth. And uh, two thirds of these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, are fools, man. Cause that's what that's all Jake wanted. What Jake wanted to do? Have fun, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. I, I've literally, oh, slug, slug, slug it, brother. I've literally had Jake tell me like, you know, I get we first come in this thing. Over Jay, Jake really told me like, hey, chill. We trying to have a good time, man, because I was, uh, you know, bringing out scriptures and stuff. Jake just want to have fun, man. Yep. Uh, this is verse five. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise mm -hmm. than for a man to hear the song of field of fools. So, so it's better to have a brother. Tell you where you're going off at, mm -hmm. and have a nigga around cracking you up, man. Mm -hmm. um, rather have a brother uh, around you telling you you're stupid, you're right, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's you gotta be an austere man to deal with that, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta be a real man to take rebuke, man. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. you know, hey, tell a brother, hey, to water, brother, you know what I'm saying? You know, I needed that, man. Because mm -hmm. yeah. who, who else? Hey, yo, hey, that's all we got. Yeah, how about yeah, how ain't coming down to deal with you? Mm -hmm. Come on. And the scripture says, uh, "Open rebuke mm -hmm. is better than secret love." Mm -hmm. and, and, a, and a man, uh, the Lord is dealing with you, and Yah is dealing with you. You will take that rebuke, uh -huh. and you, you, you ain't go. You, you might not be the most comfortable thing, exactly. but at the end of the day, you will appreciate that brother coming to you, wh right. whatever whatever it is. That the offense was, and offenses is gonna come. Exactly, it's gonna come. You know, we we gonna offend one another, man. It's in the scriptures, man. It's, I mean, yeah, it's in the script. But uh, Yahweh said, it, offenses, uh, uh, offenses will come. Not they gonna maybe come. You know, you you will be offended. You know, but you won't to be offended to the point. The Lord's dealing with you where you'll stumble and you'll fall because of that. Uh, uh, this is verse six. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is it laughter of the fool. <laughs> this also is vanity. See, everything is vanity, man. Yeah, you know we gonna, you know, like we say, keep saying you gonna laugh and joke, but what? It's just a fucking joke. Uh -huh. Whatever you laughing at or joking, it's not serious. Mm -hmm. it's something just to make you laugh. Or, you know, so you know, hey, brothers are vexed, man. That's a beautiful topic, them brothers. Just going into man, cause that's the spirit we should be in, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Seven. Surely oppression make the wise man mad, and a gift destroy the heart. Surely oppression make a wise man mad. Man. That's why we're mad, man. People, hey, people ask us that yeah. on the streets, man. What they say, brothers? Why y'all mad, man? Yeah. And we we have to go right here. Please ask seven to seven, man. That's mm -hmm. what it is, right? And we have to go right there, man. We're oppressed, man. All right? Um, Come. Um, let's get that uh, subject payments. Sean. I got you. Man. All right. I got you. That's uh, I got, I got, I got, I got six. Okay, cool.
a book of a guy one and six. Uh, ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to be put it into a bag with holes. Is that not what our paychecks are, man? That not what your paychecks are? That's another reason why you get. All right, let's just add on to the filth that's going on in America, the you know, perverseness of the Bible. This is just another add-on because Jake not following the law, touching commandments of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. Hey, not hey, not even following Yahweh by Shemuel Shai, man. That's number one. Hey, this is another number two. Number two thing, man. You go, you work just to pay bills, man. It's vexation, man. John. That's a never, because that's a never-ending cycle, man. And it, it don't, and it really don't matter how much money a brother might have. It's still going to um, these payments. Yep. You ain't, you ain't a, a socking hundreds of thousands of dollars away out of that paycheck, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no damn defense. Well, who, who ain't living paycheck? Even, even Jake, maybe middle-class Jake. You ain't got nothing in the bank. Man. You ain't got shit. Right. Even if you own a home, you don't have shit because uh, Esau can say, "Don't pay your property taxes to see if you have a home." You know what I mean? So you you, you don't got anything here, man. Huh? It's like that little uh, fucking rat on the um, spinning uh, the hamster. You just spinning around in circles, man. Not getting any guy anymore. Right. Right. And then every and then, you know, every two weeks he starts all over again, man. Right? Yeah, man. man. Hey, brother, hey, brothers in that morning uh, uh, spirit, man. That's the best way to be, man. As the scriptures say, you get that. Um, you got one. Well, you get that last from the uh, Second Peter, uh, which I, Bible, which I. Unless you got. You got hey, well, 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 why he's pulling it? I was just gonna say, um, talk about a camp, you know, when um, having to watch all these fucking homosexuals walk past us every every five minutes mm -hmm. without being able to lay hands on them, you know. Or watching our women um, uh, 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 usurp authority. You know these loud mob women out of order. Mm -hmm. Turn mm -hmm. things upside down. Yep. Right, come. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, when Lot, mm -hmm. the brothers getting. Um, when Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, I mean that's mm -hmm. that's where we are, man. This is the uh, is not America called spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Yeah, we are Sodom and yeah. Egypt, man. Yeah. Right. This is the book of Second uh, Peter chapter two verse five. Uh, I'll start at four. For if Yahweh by sin you are shut up, spirit, not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell mm -hmm. and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spare not the old world, but save Noah. The eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them uh, with an overthrow, making them an example unto them that after should live ungodly and deliver just a lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Right. He delivered just a lot. All right. Just just Lot. Lot was a just man, you know, but he was living in a land of perversion, you know, a land of filthiness. It, 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 he, and he's back here today. You know what I mean? In the same, uh, uh, in a spiritual sense, it's a Sodom, all right, Sodom and Egypt over here in Babylon the Great. Vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That's uh, the, uh, that word conversation is talking about your lifestyle, that conversation. Mm hmm. And the wicked, we know who the wicked is. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. But also he was vexed by his the, the wicked of his own nation, man. The wicked two-thirds. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by wickedness on all sides, man. Huh? And, 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 and what did the Lord do? Uh, he rained fire and brimstone out of heaven, man. And destroyed that whole uh, um, 
uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities round about. Same thing he's getting ready to do with America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your kind. Yeah, only this time he's going to be using those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Right. Right. That's the brimstone coming out of heaven. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. Hey, we ain't got long, man, to uh, be vexed, man. Huh? The Lord gonna, uh, you know, hey, wipe our tears away, man, so to speak, man. All right? Hey, so, man, brother, stay strong, man. All right? You know, brother's vexed. Just try to stay in the spirit, you know, to the best of your ability, man. Pray, you know. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, we got, hey, we don't have long. I can, you know, I don't want to watch his eye. Uh, man doing his thing sincerely and true for the mm -hmm. elect, man. All right? Our brother's got anything to add. All right, so with that, we want to give all, say, call her lawyer, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 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 Shalom.